Welcome back guys to the Ripple Effect Season 3 Episode 8. I am Danoobs and welcome to my very bland looking island. We plan to fix that this episode. Uh, so yeah, in the chest here I've got a couple of things to do just that. So I just went around and gathered a bunch of uh, new nether blocks and that. So we pretty much want to take all of this and make it look more like all of this, which I think will be much, much prettier. We need to get rid of this thing. This thing has served its purpose and I would like a better one and a bigger one at some point and down below potentially. And all of this needs to go because, for example, this is my chest that I keep just shulker boxes full of stuff I need. Oh wait, it's full of crap. Uh, it's pretty much a similar story. This is my ores chest. Yeah, so we need to get all of this fixed immediately. So it's driving me absolutely bonkers. So first we need to clear this, and then we need to clear this, and then we need to terraform all of this and make it look all pretty. Now, I'm a bit torn though, because I don't know if I want to. So this is a staircase down to my original mine, right? So I don't know if I want to put everything down to where I've been uh, insta-mining, down here. I've just got a little vine here to catch me. Um, so yeah, I've been insta-mining down here. I've got a slime chunk over there, another slime chunk over there. I believe there's a double slime chunk back this way. And uh, if we actually go up here, you'll see this was the old, the old um, strip mine that I had. And apparently I didn't realize on the wrong Y level. So it was on level 14, should be a couple of blocks lower. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I want to put it all the way down there. Um, seems like it's, it's just too far to go. This is kind of cool actually. So these blocks I haven't mined out because as they are, well, we can actually see it here. There's a bit of a ravine situation going on just down there, or there, which is fine. There's ravines all around my little island. If we actually duck out of this one, it's actually quicker to get back to the top because uh, we can just swim up here. And here is my nether portal. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm torn if I want to drop it down, down there or if we want to come through the nether portal here and actually do it in the nether, which I would much rather do. I would much rather have my storage and um, and all my starter stuff. I don't need water for a smelter. I don't need water for storage. So I would much rather possibly go down here, uh, in this direction, and do a storage system down in there. It's not going to be a big storage system. It's still this is still the, the starter area, so. I don't want to go crazy, but I would like to get away from in there if I can uh, for the time being. And also, uh, it would be good to, to actually finish this this tunnel and link it up to the the Skelly Farm. I'm not going to do that today, though. I want to get I want to focus on the island. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm still at two mines. Do I do I put the the storage in the Nether or do we keep it um keep it out here? Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I think I'm gonna have a think about that while I completely transform this island in time-lapse style.
Okay guys, I am not gonna lie, halfway through that, I started to get pretty nervous because <laughs> I was not liking how it was coming out. You might have noticed in the time lapse, I, uh, I changed things around halfway through. The goal was to have this sort of blend from the blue here, which I really like. I really like the colors, but we already have so much of that in our nether there. Um, blend this into sort of like a wild overgrown and then the the red would would eventually overtake and it would become more of a red biome and I think we achieved that in the end so I'm actually pretty happy with how this has turned out now um, I was pretty pretty unsure of how it was all gonna look I may throw a bit more foliage around over on this end potentially and I'm just running around to make sure I've got all the, the water flowing stopped Around the edges, I think I've got it all now. Um, but I actually really, really like how this is um, how this has come out now. Trees, I was thinking of doing custom ones, but then I just thought I'd see how how they grow. And I actually like how how most of these have come out. Um, so I'm not too worried about any of those. Uh, there is also a farm that um, I've been working on for like a whole week now. Um, it's going to be a uh, warped fungus and crimson fungus farm an automated one so we can get shroom lights and the stems here uh, but yeah I'm just I'm just working out I've gone through so many different variants of how I want to do it and the only thing at the moment is I'm trying to keep it simple um, uh, which I've got it down I have a working functioning farm which is just goes off a couple of timers it's fine it's not self-sustaining uh, like a few of the farms out there just because they seem to get like super complicated um, with getting all the hopper lines and everything underneath and the way that they actually break the crimson the 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 stems and everything like that when uh, when there's nothing nothing growing there they they break everything they collect all the things they collect all of these these things here I'd kind of like to try to harvest those I don't really want to be um, bone mealing all of those so instead we're gonna need a bunch of farms anyway right so the plan is with this area and underground we're gonna do um, like a lot of our, our bigger farm sort of sugarcane uh, probably gonna do a bunch of kelp farms underground at some point um, and you know the normal potato carrots all that kind of stuff and each one of those is going to have like a basically just like you flick a switch and all of those drops think then get bone mealed um, so we'll have a bunch in storage and then we'll have a bunch where the farms are just turning everything into bone meal and filtering it back up into the farm that's going to be just over there and that way we can get as many of these stems and mainly the shroom lights because we need a lot of shroom lights for the base that we're going to be doing eventually up in the sky out over the ocean it's going to be absolutely awesome I designed most of it and creative a few months before we even started this season I cannot wait to get started on that now that being said, I still don't know what we're going to do this. I think we're just going to go into the nether and start digging. That's, that's the only way I can feel like I can settle this in my mind is once we've actually just got a, you know, a place to work with. You guys remember earlier when past Danube said that we definitely wouldn't be doing extending the tunnel towards the skeleton farm this episode? But guess what? Ignore that because that guy's an idiot. Because... <laughs> Uh, this was staring us in the face the whole time. Like, we could just throw the storage in here. We're going to carry this out. How we have this, except obviously changing some stuff. I may even change how this is here, because it's, it's repetitive and everything, but it's a little impractical at the moment, um, to something more along the lines. I'm still throwing ideas around how I'm going to do this keep in mind it is a temporary storage but i would like to be able to just be like okay this box has this stuff here and you know keep the groups together maybe this is all like 
warped and nether stuff in that way when I'm doing landscaping I can just choose a bunch here throw it in a throw it in a shulker box and then I'm good to go um, and then we're gonna have this staircase up which perfectly lines up with the center of the first crossroads um, just there and we've angered the angered the blaze that is that is easy to do uh, so yeah I'm gonna keep playing around with this and try to find some sort of way that I'm happy with we're gonna do the roof as well and we're gonna have the same issue that we had over there whereas I don't know how to do the stairs um, so I think we're just gonna have to figure it out because yeah can't wait too much on that but we also know exactly where this needs to go whereas over there we don't know how big that area is going to be eventually so um, at least that we have that on our side so we might be able to just straight up figure this one out um, and get all this area done in this episode and that would be lovely because I want to store things in things and know where they are <laughs> instead of just guessing kind of I don't know well, let's figure it out okay so this is where we're at I actually just recorded two quick clips and uh, uh, my mic wasn't plugged in because I am a genius yes I am uh, so now that that's plugged back in uh, so originally I had this uh, pretty much like this one where it was just one block back uh, the problem was that when you put a bunch of like uh, you know uh, the shulker boxes or anything like that it just looks very flat there uh, and I was not enjoying it whatsoever so I actually just pushed everything back one block I've doubled up the the wood here and as you can see if we run around the back here it's actually out a block further than the other side I think it looks a lot better um, like a lot a lot because it was very very flush uh, here it works because Obviously the chests and everything are all different sizes, so you still get that depth, you can see through it, it looks a lot cooler. Um, whereas here you don't really have that except at the top here. And I can't put chests down lower with any shulker boxes above them because then you can't, you can't actually open the chests. Uh, which is a bit of a pain. I'm just going through the motions of taking everything from in there and uh, just uh, basically organizing, organizing it into little groups. So here is just basically some drops. Um, uh, mob drops and organics uh, essentially over here we've just got our different kinds of dirts we've got some concrete and some wool on this side here we've just got flowers and this will pretty much just be stuff for them most of those are empty um, terraforming uh, so that's what this section here is going to be for over here we've just got random um, just stone so this row here is stone and this is going to be all our cobble variants and then here is just going to be you know diorite and all the other randomness and then we can store a bunch in the double chests up here and then on this side we've got the same thing but i've got a lot of black stone that i've been collecting so i need to store quite a bit of it and we're going to be using that more than the normal stone varieties you freaking snipers anyway um <laughs> so yeah that's that's the thing that's happening I really need to get the roof done on here for this exact reason and then over here we have all our different kinds of, uh, of nether blocks and that we're going to be using a lot of those so they have their own little area as well. Um, yeah, need to get the roof done and the thing we're going to do after that is now that everything out here has had the chance to grow up, all the vines and things like that, I really am loving how this is looking. I think it's come up absolutely perfectly, uh, better than I thought actually. Um, the only thing that's annoying me now is if we go up and have a look. It looks heaps better at night as well, but it does still look pretty damn cool, uh, if I must say so myself. Um, but you can see the edges, we've got all this sand and dirt, all my doggies sitting on their little platform there. I gotta, gotta get them a better home on the island here somewhere. As you can see, there's like areas like here where um, the nether blocks just stop. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh, and I think it's gonna look a lot better um, if we just go down one or two layers like it's sort of like oozing over the edge almost um, and I'm going to use a combination of the nether blocks but almost like a base of blackstone and magma blocks 
Uh, I think that's gonna look really cool and it's still gonna give it the nice glow around the edges. Of a nighttime, the sand and everything actually glows really well because of these shroom lights. Um, they're lighting the place up better than I'd hoped. So yeah, that's definitely something we have to do before the end of this episode. But I am gonna go back to moving all of this crap to the nether, which is taking taking some time. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this stuff just just probably gonna get burned up in lava because there's a lot of nonsense in here that's not necessary um, or that I have a whole bunch of up in the nether at our bartering farm. So I'll have to obviously keep all of these things. Um, so I'm just trying to work out what's needed, what's not moving, what I need to, and then uh, yeah, lots of, lots of fun. But we'll get there. Then the next time I see you guys, our entire storage room should be done and looking glorious. Okay, so this is what I was talking about with the item frame. So if I take one of these item frames and we come over here, and I believe we have to rename this glass pane invisible. Right. Okay. And then if we take this over here, and let's say we put it here. So this is the area for sort of um, we've got dyes, we're going to have other stuff for terraforming and things like that. So we'll just stick with dyes for the moment. If we put this in here. Yeah, okay, so that's invisible now. And then we should be able to just put this item there like that. So now I know that this area is for dyes and, and all that kind of crap. So I can put another one on here for whatever else is here. It's mostly like terraforming stuff probably. Um, there's not a lot else in this area. We've got some coral and stuff and yeah, that's that's about it with some eggs sea pickles You know that kind of stuff so we can do the same thing over here So this area here is mostly well, this is again is a lot of terraforming. We've got concretes and gravel sand uh, So it's mostly concrete and building. Yeah, so we're gonna put this one probably on there Make it invisible and then we'll use some of this uh, we might just put the black concrete there actually and that will remind us that this is for where our black concrete and stuff is this is gonna be very annoying I gotta get this stairs done okay so now I've got two of these on here I've just put them on this thing because I can actually still open this whereas I can't really open these because they're facing outward with an item frame there so just two of these will give me a pretty good indication of what we've got here so here we've got mob drops and greenery got concrete, gra uh, sand and dirt and things like that. Here we've got dye and corals and other pretty blocks. Up here we've got the different kinds of stones, black stone and I've got a thing here just of iron bars. And then here we've got our nether blocks and some lanterns and things. There's also, uh, I believe in this one here, um, I've got the, this, the normal variants of each of those and I've got a couple of chains and, and rods here, so some lighting. Uh, yeah, so that is gonna be it for that area now and yet yeah, it's just I Still don't know what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna have to have a bit bit of a play to figure it out. I think Okay, here it is uh, Basically carried all this along and then we've just gone up uh, Like this so we've got these little little things down here to keep it a little bit interesting. I'm not a hundred percent sure What's gonna happen in here? Uh, I know we said I was going to keep this one open in case we need to pull it out. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be the case for in here. So maybe I just threw some, some stuff around. I think I got rid of all my vines. I might just throw that in there. And I might replace that with... I might replace both of those actually. Just with that. Just to break that up. I might get a vine just to throw in there. Let's get rid of all these as well. Do, 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 do throw that there that looks a little bit better uh yes yeah, so i've got the soul sand in case we need to retreat uh retreat retreat in a quick way i haven't got it all the way to there just because i kind of don't want to put anything in here um this is kind of the way we go to there this is the way we go to there so i kind of like the fact that we can slow it down and just pop in here um to the portal and it's going to give us enough uh, speed boost like if we come flying that's interesting. If you are running, you cannot hit that stair. I wonder if... And now we can. That's really interesting. 
So if you're legging it, you cannot put this straight into a stair. That seems like it's a bug. Um, but we get quite a lot of speed going up into here. We can go do what we have to do. And then coming back down, we're going to get a little bit of a boost to the portal to get away from any zombie pigment that are chasing us. Um, we are planning on doing a farm up here. So I did say, oh, hello skeleton. You can die. Um, so I did say I was not going to sell any more of the wither skeletons, but a little competition never hurt anybody, so I'm thinking maybe we will. I've actually got, I bought these in an episode a while ago, some of these, I might get some more, because our port, our fortress up here is actually pretty perfect for that. Like, you can see the spawns it gets, um, if it was just spawning wither skeletons then, oh boy, we would get a lot of skulls. So, um, yeah, we may just have to do it just because we're silly if we're not, let's be honest. Um, yeah, so now we just got to build all this up. I've decided that I'm going to go with a blackstone and magma cube. Definitely doing that now. Um, so I'm going to go get the stuff I need for that and then we can go around and build all the edges of this and we will have made quite a bit of progress in this episode. Um... I feel kind of weird watching this. Uh, I'm not sure what is going on, but I definitely... Oh, they're finished. Okay. I, mean... I, I don't know. Alright guys, that is us. We are done. So as you can see, I've just got a couple like, you know, pretty much barricaded the entire island in the, uh, the Blackstone here. Now I've just thrown these gashes in here, um, all around the place. There's only, there's not that many, like, I'll actually get up in the air so we can have a look, because it's actually pretty cool to see of a night time from the air. So I haven't put them in everywhere, I love the glow coming off the island, I think that's real cool. Uh, so I've just thrown a couple in, let's see if I can slow down a bit, see some on this side. So there's one or two just here, can't really see, I need to... Need to go slower. I should just put myself in survival mode or something. So we've got a couple there, and then we've got another couple just here. And all it is is to kind of show that you know there's something a little bit more going on under under the ground here. I didn't want to go too overboard, so we've just put a couple of larger ones here because I had more room. I thought it'd be cool to like spread it out through this um this little bend here. Got another one, little one in there. I haven't done too many. No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, that's mostly fixed. Uh, note to self, uh, <laughs> apparently mobs can spawn in this area uh, somewhere. So, yeah, that's good fun. Anywho, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still a little shook. Um, okay, yeah, so I've just got these gashes in here that are just gonna show that there's a little bit more going on under the surface. Uh, and yeah, like I was saying, I didn't go, I didn't put them all over the place. I just want a, a bit of a glimpse under there. So yeah, we've got another couple down in here. There's none around the backside there. And then I think I've just got another, another one or two. Yeah, so just over here in this corner as well. Um, and I threw a little shroom light in there just so they get a bit of a, bit of a glow. I really want to, maybe we we'll just go straight up and we'll see if we can uh, see how these are looking. Slow down a little. Yeah, so there we go. There's a better view. So you can see that just there. And then as we swoop back around here, we should just catch a glimpse of this one here. And then another one there. Oops. Yeah, so I just thought it'd be a cool little detail instead of just having the full black border around the thing, but I think it's looking pretty damn good, if I must say so myself. With the exception of the odd creeper, I think this place has turned out really, really well. Uh, I'm absolutely loving actually hanging out in this little area. Uh, now that I've moved everything into the nether, uh, I can't wait to actually start putting some stuff down under here, so I have more of an excuse to get back over here. Um, and yeah, I think this has all turned out pretty cool. It's very, uh, it's very foresty, uh, and at the same time very deserty. So yeah, I think it's a cool combination. I really, really like it. Alright guys, 
thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Danoobs, this has been The Ripple Effect Season 3, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!